Okay, here we go. So now here we're looking at the hypo boa. <laughs> so hypo boas, what they usually do is they clean up the pattern so there's going to be less pattern on them. They're usually pink or red or there's a type of hypo called salmons. There's two main lines. There's basically the hypos and the salmons. And uh, basically what they do is they create a very uh, clean pattern. So as you look in between the saddles, there isn't many spots or anything. Like it's just a very clean pattern. They're very pink looking. They have these really red tails. So <laughs> once again, these will probably be called red tails a lot by people that don't understand that technically red tails are BCCs. So this one is 66% het for sterling. So that brings the value up quite a bit. But in general, the regular hypos I sell for around $200. Since this is 66% het for sterling, it's valued a bit more. It's also possible het for VPI, albino, which is a different type of albino that you can look up. But basically the mother is a 66% het VPI and she is 100% het for sterling. So we had some sterlings in this litter and that is just showing you kind of a different hypo because the rest of the hypos that I have here are a little bit more normal looking. So your typical normal hypo will end up looking more like this. So you can see this one is not as clean. The other thing is that sterling often affects the hets too. So does um, leopard. There's certain genes that even in their heterozygous form, they mess with the pattern quite a bit. I'll be showing you some of the uh, hypo motleys in another video, but I wanted to keep this really simple and just stick to one gene at a time and help you kind of understand them more. If you don't understand the way that the hypo gene works, I made a codominant video, so you can watch that. It's something codominant, it'll be titled, and that'll basically teach you how codominant genes work, but that will be posted most likely already before this. Because we started off with the normals, now we're looking at the hypos, which is a very common and simple gene, but not all hypos have these bow ties but it is most of them do so most of the hypos when you see them they have these kind of like distinct bow ties so when you see the bow ties you can be like oh that's a hypo and you see more pinkness as they get older they look kind of brighter they go kind of peachy to reddish and let's show you another one i got two more i'm going to show you i figured i have to show you all of these before they uh, disappear because <laughs> I'm just like as I sell them I have less to show people but these typical regular hypos they go for $200 and these are all 100% het anery and 66% het albino so this one's a little darker really nice red tail on it if you look at the sides the sides are often pink and then as they get older, all the pink that you see ends up turning more... You can't even describe it, it just changes. And then let's show you the last one. Here we go. And they look really crazy in person, like this one especially. It kind of has like this funny, like dark pink sheen. And outside it looks kind of 
wonky colors, especially when they have a fresh shed. Okay, here's an example of an adult hypo. <laughs> this is Bo. And Bo is het for annery and albino. So that's considered a double het snow. Because annery and albino create snows, so she'd be considered a double het snow. So that is your typical adult hypo. Going nuts, what are you doing? So as you can see they kinda they change. They get more like peachy and peachy and tan and all that fun stuff. Okay, we're outside. It's beautiful. Make sure you enjoy the last few days of uh, nice weather. If you want to learn more about genes, I suggest watching the video on codominance because hypos are codominant. So if you don't understand what that means, watch the first video. Otherwise, check out the other one. Don't forget to smash that like button. When you do, it helps support our channel. And when our channel finally makes money, maybe it'll help us make a little money too. And then you'll help feed our snakes. <laughs> Until then, if you like the video, it just helps us know you like the video. <laughs> okay, have a wonderful day and thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. <laughs>